Hello, welcome in. Hello, hello, welcome in. You are joining me today for live stream setting priorities in your wellness business. Welcome in. My name is Yoga Coach Sarah. And I've got two things going on. I've got Zoom. I've got going live on Facebook. So, I, well, now we're going live on Facebook. So welcome in. My name is Yoga Coach Sarah, and you're watching Setting Priorities in Your Wellness Business. Welcome in. So let me see if I've got the light, the right one here. I know I've got some. If you're just joining me in Zoom, welcome in. Um, you are watching live stream setting priorities in your wellness business. We're going to go over some key things that will be helpful for your business. Okay. So what are some critical tasks for busy entrepreneurs running an online business? So first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Yoga Coach Sarah, and I've been helping yoga business owners build their online businesses for over two years now. And I'm here to help you what priorities work, what priorities help you get in line, get in alignment with where you want to be in your business, okay? Being online is hard, okay? Especially if this is your first time around, maybe you had an online, maybe you had an in-person business, you're converting it to an online system, and you're still trying to figure it out. You're trying to find out maybe, maybe getting in with um, the right people to help you, Look no further. I'm going to help you with today's critical task for busy entrepreneurs running an online yoga business. Okay. So first of all, what sets us apart? What sets online businesses, online yoga businesses apart than maybe a brick and mortar? Online yoga businesses, you have to be able to fight for other people's attention online. People are very distracted online. It's a lot of noise and you have to be able to capture the right kind of audience, the right type of ideal client and begin to build relationships from that, from just seconds. Okay. So having the skill to be able to attract the right type of clients into your world is so essential when building your online business. Okay. And that's going to help you prioritize some of the tasks that you need to work on instead of, you know, spending a lot of activities and time on the wrong places, you know, like social media, just scrolling on social media, hoping that you find uh, someone that is not, that is not a productive thing to do. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. Um, let's see who we have in the chat. Welcome in. Let's see if we're live in the right group. If you're watching this on the replay, I'd love to see you type replay. And if you're watching this live, let me know so that I can actually say hi to you live and even answer your questions here. Okay. So let's see. Let's look at some of the critical tasks for busy entrepreneurs. Let's get right on to it. So if you're a yoga business owner, if you're a yoga teacher on online, um, if you're you know, you know what you're doing, a thing or two. Um, I'd like to, you know, I'd like to still include you in today's presentation. So if you're pretty seasoned, you know that content creation, it has to be part of your online yoga business repertoire. It's something that you need to constantly um, show up to. You have to be able to show up to your content creation and online promotion. This is, this is, um, this is pretty up there, especially if you still haven't gotten your um, your systems correctly put and set in place yet. You have to be able to make sure that you are your the you are a content creation machine. <laughs> you have to consistently provide valuable, engaging content um, that attracts your ideal customer. So. A lot of those can include tutorials, tutorials on how to conduct yoga, um, yoga principles, yoga movements, wellness tips. A lot of yoga students are 
gravitating towards wellness tips and and even mindfulness exercises. So you want to create those type of value. You want to create those type of content that will attract the audience um, to have an interest in working with you. And then you have to constantly promote this content across more than one platform. Okay. We do recommend you start starting with one and creating a system and a flow with just one. Okay. If you have too many to start with, you're not, it's almost like multitasking and it's not going to help you. Okay. Pick one. And as when you begin, pick one or two, and then you begin to spread yourself out once you get comfortable around social media, including creating an email list. Okay. We have an email, um, email list training here. If you're interested in um, wanting to get that started, we'll tag you to that training and um, your website landing page, what to, what critical pieces that you need to put in there so that you attract your ideal audience. If people are just don't get stuck on your website, you're actually flowing them into your sales process. Okay. And then of course, you know, you have to be able to increase your visibility um, to get in more leads so you can reach potential clients. So what does that even look like online? Um, to increase your visibility online, we highly recommend you running ads because no one knows who you are yet. So, um, and if you're someone that's not comfortable with ads, that's okay. We actually handhold you to be able to do that. And the reason why we, we ask for you to get comfortable with ads is because if you try to build up visibility outside of the online world, outside of ads, it's going to take a lot longer and you're going to waste a lot more of your time and hard earned um, efforts um, trying to um, come up with a system that was is really slow and really and really won't give you um, you know, really won't give you any sales. Okay. So we want to help you increase um, your visibility, help you with getting um, leads into your world. So that way you can begin to um, create and nurture and have a sales process for them. Okay. So this is the second thing that you need to do. Once you do have people into your world, you have to be able to engage with them. Okay. You can't like just leave you can't just be hands off and hopefully that people will come to you for your services you have to reach across the line reach across <laughs> the um social media messages chat comment and actually engage with the people that um that are coming into your world that means you have to prioritize communicating with your people, the people that have liked your page, the people that are commenting or maybe joined your group and your audience. And you have to be, um, you have to engage them, respond to them, message them, not to be afraid of the messaging, not to be afraid of the DMs. Okay. And you really just, what you're there to just show, um, you know, you're there to build trust. You're there to show genuine interest that, you know, and, and genuine, like, okay, every, do we, you know, is this a right fit? Do we like each other? Do you, you know, do we like each other's personalities? That's also one way to, um, to get a feel of, you know, how to engage with who you want to work with. Okay. And with that, you are more than likely to become, um, they're more than likely to become, you know, audiences for your next upcoming you know, trainings, your next coming classes. And because they already like, they already know you, they, you already commented on their stuff. You already like talk to them. And so there's a lot of, you know, interaction with, um, you know, make sure you prioritize these tasks. Okay. And then, and so let me see if we've got, if we're keeping up with the zoom people, let me see. We got, we have, we have you in the zoom. I think so. I think it's running there. 
Oh, here it is. Okay. So let's keep you up. So we went through um, the critical task piece. We went through the content creation and the promotion, and now we're on the engagement and support. Okay. So now we're going to move into a third critical task that I want you to, to get comfortable with, and that is lead gen, lead generation and sales funnel optimization. And if you're like, what is that? <laughs> lead generation just means you need to have constant traffic and eyes to your business um, every single day, at least 30 to 40 eyeballs into um, your, your landing pages, your people joining your group, people joining your, um, your classes or webinars or potential, they're not, leads aren't your customers yet, but their leads just means that they're interested in, um, you know, they've interested in whatever you, that you already posted and start joining into, you know, your world, either like join your group or follow your page or, and you need to be able to have that type of new generation refreshed. You got to refresh it every single day. And that's what people, um, don't as newbies of online um, yoga businesses, people tend to ignore this real critical piece of lead generation. Okay. So this is a really important part of focusing on how to build your ineffective lead gen system to attract a steady stream of your potential clients. So you need to know how to do that. You need to um, either get with us or find someone to tell you how to do this really, really well. Okay. So, and then you need to be able to optimize your sales process. Once they get to, once you have that steady stream, you need to be able to convert your leads. Convert just means you're turning them from potential non-paying audiences to um, clients that will begin handing you their credit card. Okay, because they that you get their problem, you have a prop, you have a solution um, to help them with their problem, and it's a good fit. Okay, so you need to be able to optimize your sales funnel. Just means that you know it's like um, there's a lot a lot of leads at the top, and then you slowly qualify the people that can't afford to work with you and are the right fit to um, to engage with your high paying program. Okay. So how do you start doing that? So you entice people by, we call them freebies. And you may have seen, heard of them as lead magnets where you either offer a free class or a free guide PDF um, that offers, you know, um, relieve, uh, relieve pain using yoga in any way or heal in any way. And it's going, it's going to get them to get a taste of what it's like to, what is it that you offer? So once they're in your world, um, you know, they're able to get a chance to try out your services. And that's what, that's, then they, they become leads and interest. And then you, you slowly guide them towards, um, and you funnel them and you narrow them down to, you know, um, one or two people that are buying your high ticket yoga program um, every month. Okay. Every, or every time you launch. Okay. So you guide them towards your yoga programs or services. So this is where a lot of people get stuck and people get scared. This is where we also highly recommend you using ads and making sure that you calculate, you know, a good return of investment. Okay. And not just vanity metrics where you're just Many metrics just means that you're not um, calculating um, your sales, the bottom line sales. It just means like, oh, those I've got like like a thousand views in my reel. Those are those are called vanity metrics. They don't mean very much because they don't make you money. They don't keep your business afloat. Okay, they don't. Um, you know, they uh, they're great, but if one of them leads to a sale, then that's that's something that. Um, we need to begin replicating and paying attention to. Okay. Um, so time management and goal setting, um, time management. I'm trying to do the other one too, the other, but, and the, 
in the Zoom. So for time management and goal setting, it's pretty similar to what I talked about last time is to make sure that you have a process where you show up to, to this type of work every regularly. Okay. In the beginning, it can be, can feel pretty bogged down, but once you begin showing up to it and then set those clear goals and prioritize tasks, and then you begin to align, you know, you want to make sure you align and spend time to revisit your long-term vision. Are you, are you coming back to that vision? Um, you know, and are you, are you make sure you're taking time to, um, create these time blocks, right? Cause it can be, it can be pretty daunting, um, to, you know, to just show up to the grind. And so that's why you need to be able to, you know, either use the time blocking tools. I like using the Pomodoro method. If you, if you know what that is, say, I know what that is, or it doesn't work for me. Or like, I don't know, you know, I don't know what that is. Give me a comment. Um, to help you stay focused and then avoid distractions. So this is the, the thing about being online is that you can easily like steer and something, something will pop up and it's like, oh, this is as equally important as this, you know, as this activity. And that's, um, that's not something that you want to continue um, entertaining, right? And make sure that you make the most out of your productive hours. So as as someone has worked in the mental health field we tend to focus on moving towards pleasure and away from pain and that's the reason why we we go into distractions because when we find something really difficult maybe we get stuck on something then we go find something more appealing to focus our attention to because it's really painful <laughs> to begin to keep hitting and um to keep hitting the same blocks, to keep hitting the same painful roadblocks, okay? Um, and that's why it's so important for you to also prioritize self-care, um, also prioritize, um, you know, uh, continuous learning, continuous learning of um, making sure that you're not just doing the same thing and hope that you get the same result that you're growing your skills, that you're growing your online skills, your entrepreneur skills, you're, you're um, you know, doing something for yourself that you're not doing, you know, months, uh, months before. Okay. And then honor your, honor your progress and your growth. And it's not supposed to be this linear trajectory. Like you're going to have, you're going to have some setbacks. You're going to be like, Oh, you know, I am just so tired of this and I need a break from it. Maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe you need to take a break. Maybe you need to put it down, go on, you know, go take care of yourself, go on vacation, take, take a day, take a weekend and really realign again with what you're passionate about and realign with why you're really doing this. Okay. And will I, will I be better off if I stick with this and and begin to find ways that will help me further, um, you know, my growth. Okay. So that's the continuous learning part aspect. So with that, you know, um, we do recommend you, if you haven't done this, um, on your own, hire a mentor. And if you hired mentors before hired mentors that you didn't think you'd hire, like when I started off, I hired a mentor, you know, like I hired a, uh, mentor it was focused on wellness and then I felt like I needed to hire more work more on the business side um, and I hired that type of mentor so you if you don't know anyone that's doing this then you need to be able to partner with someone who, who is doing this in this um, in the industry because if you're not you're going to you know again steer away towards um, pain and begin to look at distractions and it, you know, takes you out of focus of your goals. Okay. So don't forget to do your self care. I, I personally uh, dedicate a lot of time practicing my, you know, 
nurturing my own yoga practice each and every day and coming back to the meditations, coming back to what is it that I'm envisioning for, you know, what I want for my business and then for, um, you know, some something that is outside of, you know, myself to, to give service. So that's, that's part of like, um, so my values, it doesn't mean it's going to be yours, but I want you to, to come and take some time to create those, um, those, um, those moments where you reevaluate what your principles are and what values that you're currently practicing, right? There's the, sometimes there's a gap between theory and practice. The theory is like, in theory, I need to be like, you know, I, in theory, self-care is really good. I really believe in self-care, but do you practice it? <laughs> and same with, same with your online business. How often do you practice in showing up to it and learning in, um, in nurturing your growth? Okay. So set your priorities. Okay. Focus on the task that has the most significant impact on your business growth and success by dedicating your time and effort to these tasks. So you can begin to see that like, it's not that bad. It's, it's a lot of fun and, um, and, and stick to it. Okay. Don't stop. Okay. So if you're really, um, empowered by this and you're, you're feeling like, oh, you know, I really want to do this too you know, and you want to keep this momentum going, what can you do? We would love to chat with you and see if, um, you know, what some of the things that we've got going on can help your business. We, um, we can help you set up a lot of things that, um, that we talked about earlier from, um, you know, from content creation, we actually offer templates. We also, we also offer, how to how to properly engage and support your um, your audiences and we help you create an online lead generation system in your sales funnel process all in our all in our mindset program okay and now it's just time for you to really prioritize like you know do i really want to dedicate this time and that means i actually have to invest you know, I had to invest in myself. That means putting down money, knowing that you're going to return your investment. Okay. And we're going to help you price your program. Um, we want to work. So, if, so this, you know, this mindset program is not for everybody. We want to work with people that want to create a high ticket program and not just want to, um, you know, stay in our comfort zones, offering $50 yoga classes. That's, we don't want to work with you if that's all you want to do, but maybe maybe that's all you want to do right now but would still like to learn and see like what process it is to create a high ticket yoga program what what is that it's a creating a yoga program where you can help your students achieve a transformation possibly help with chronic pain process something that maybe you had a personal transformation from and you like to help guide them and you put it all in an online package and program that you can create for them. And they work with you at a limited amount of time and they get those results from you. And we can help you craft that um, really easily. And it's, I'm only, the, the, the thing is I'm only um, going to work with no more than I think three people at this time because i want to focus on quality over quantity that's not my goal for you my goal for you is that you um have fun selling and fun creating okay you gotta have fun creating and then have fun selling and helping people um with transformation so that's all i have today and thank you so much for joining so you're if you're like how do i do that if you're watching this on the replay just click on you know, um, book on a session or click on the application to submit your, um, you, it's a paid mindset program. It's, um, I think it's like, it's a, I don't know how, how much is it nowadays? I think it's like, um, I think it's under a hundred. Is it under a hundred or around a hundred? No more than that. 
and we give you all the templates we give you all the the guidance and we uh, provide you with support like i will handhold you there's going to be we're, you're going to join me on zoom calls like this and we're going to help you create your online program okay so go ahead and submit your application if that's something that works for you okay we do have a pretty harsh not harsh but a, a vetted screening process where you know we we only invite people that are right fit for the program so that is all i have today thank you so much for joining me do you want do you want i i think i want to do a reading today and um a reading tarot i, I enjoy you know, tarot card readings, and it's something that I took up during the pandemic as, um, as things were a lot of them became really popular in the mainstream. Um, so I'm going to do a tarot reading to help you um, what to prioritize. What is it that maybe you need to prioritize for your business? Okay, and this could be for me too. Okay, what is it that we need to know to prioritize our business and um so oh i like this one it's showing up so three of wands three of wands is um wands is a, the the energy of uh, energy energy of um uh the threes the energy of threes and you see him kind of looking at you know at the mountains from afar maybe he's not taking any actions yet um and you know he's maybe like weighing decisions um so yeah i haven't pulled out this card in a while so what do you you know if you type in the comments what you think this means for you um but i'm gonna read the the white book and it says here the three of wands you're so yeah you're kind of in a calm state you see him kind of like just standing there with your with his back turned looking over from a cliff's edge at some ships passing by over the sea so you know he's looking over the water it's calm and there's the three staves that are played on the ground and that means and he's leaning on he's leaning on one of them and this one symbolizes strength, oh yeah, enterprise, effort, trade, discovery, commerce, and those are the ships bearing his merchandise. That his, you know, that's that's kind of like the work that he's like overlooking, and they're sailing over the sea. Okay, so so this is kind of like you want you, you know maybe he has a um, he's been working for a while, right? It's maybe you're someone that you. We've been working our business for a while and you've established your your strength with it you you figured out some things but you want to you're wanting to be careful in you know what you want to do next so you're taking some careful steps over um your business and you know but you know that you i think the mountains ahead indicates um and mountains indicate usually uh, mountains usually indicate something that is a effort that requires effort requires um you know ups and downs you're going to have your highs and your lows it's going to be adventurous it's going it's not going to be easy he's overlooking a journey that's likely not going to be easy um but he's kind of you know trying to stake out his next move so that's that's the message and the energy for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.